Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss about difference between readline and read methods in csop.net. So, at your console.readline, so it read all character from the user input and it return a string. So, data type should be a string and about at your console.readline, so it only accept single character from the user input and return its ASCII code. Real time should be int because it returned integer value as ASCII. So at here going to write to uh, one code. So at here let's use console class dot write line method. So in devil code going to write into the uh, string value. So this will display to the output screen. Now here auto let's use a string and here going to give the name s1 and here auto console class chart to redline method. So redline method. Now if you like to know more detail about the redline method, so take the cursor on redline. So add here read the next line of character from the standard input string. So it read the next line of characters from the input, standard input string. Now here after let's use at your console class dot right line method and here going to use in double curved enter enter a string value. Now here after let's use a uh, plus operator to concatenate S1 value. Now here after if you execute to so let's go to debug and start without debugging. So I have to enter the string. So it's uh, here console dot writer enter the string value so it's a uh, display. Now here after so whatever I will enter so that will go to S1. So here let's insert some value. So going to insert at here JSON. Now enter a string value at here JSON. It's a display. Now suppose at here going to change a string to int. So a string to int I change. Now take the cursor at red line. So at here you get to this message cannot implicitly convert a string to int. That means this value is at here a string and this string value you cannot directly convert into int. And here if you write to char. So I enter char value. So here cannot implicitly convert tab a string to char. So this value is now at here. A string value so a string value cannot convert into cat so here that's why it's a going the error so this means at here console dot return it return a string so data type should be a string so to convert any value into integer so you should use at your int dot parse method now here after use bracket so here after so going to convert into integer so here you should be so this uh, data so here console dot data so this accept at a string value after applying int dot parse so this string value is not convert into integer now here so so this value is returned integer and this integer value go to s1 so s1 is now become in integer type and if you give at here a string so here getting the error message, the error message is cannot implicitly convert into a string. So this value is now at here, this all is integer and integer cannot convert into a string. So this is the things here. So that means console dot to return is the a string term. Also it return a string term value. Now here after it read all the character from the user. So here uh, let's uh, uh, do one thing. 
So see about to console dot red line. So right here going to use console class dot right line method. Now here after enter enter first enter the number enter the number so this will display into the output screen and here after int here int i equal to console dot red line so console dot red line now here after write console dot write console dot write line and here the ASCII value the ASCII value right here is so let's give at here 0 for placeholder and here going to use comma and the value of i so at here console dot right line now here going to make this comment and if you execute let's add here start without debugging so it's asking you what enter the value enter the number okay so suppose if i'm going to enter add here or uh, a string value 9 so let's see what happened so add here the ascii value is 34 it's a display so add here enter the number so this value is now add here so whatever you enter so add here i enter 9 or uh, a string value double quote so it's now converted into integer so it accept only integer value here so 9 the ascii value of 9 is 34 it's a display now here after let's uh, again so this time going to enter a small a the ascii value of a small a is the 97 97 it's a display now next here so add here so it only accept single character so as console dot read so it accept only single character so here going to enter a as the ascii character of a is the 97 here and let's give at a b so ascii character of b is 98 so if i press enter so it's a displaying the output the value of the ascii value is at a 97 so this means it accept only single character so it ignore at a b so the value of a is 97 here it's a display so this is the things it only accepts single character so when i uh, give add here two character so here i give just like uh, going to give a and b two characters the ascii character of a is 65 so it want to give the odd no ascii character of d so that if i press enter so it returns 65 now here after so console dot to the data type should be integer. So data type should be integer because it returned uh, integer value of as ASCII. Now suppose if I am going to change at here a string. So I changed at here a string. So take the cursor. So at here getting the error message cannot implicitly convert type into a string. So this means it accept as integer value. So if this integer value cannot convert into a string so here this is the string so this is the string and this is the integer so the, va the value is not matched so that here error matches like if you give add here char now take the cursor so add here the same cannot implicitly convert into char so this value is integer here you uh, i have given char so that here the error matches but if you you can give add here double and float so here you cannot find any error so these two things here so let's give add here int now if you take the cursor at red line so here red line read the next character from the standard input string now here make that comment 
So here, take the cursor, read the next line of characters. So at here, this is about the characters, and here, if you take here, so read the next character. So it only read one character, but at here, it read characters. So character is the combination of you can if you combine character, so value come a string. So see at here, a string console dot read line. And here it's a int console dot read line. So this is the important difference between read line or read method. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.